Hi everyone, it's Brett here with brettgurney.com and you know sometimes I like to go back to some blog posts that I've written and um, just kind of I don't know do a little training on some of the stuff that I uh, put down on, on paper if you will uh, and this this allows me this helps me out a lot to be able to kind of get my thoughts together and relay some of the information uh, it is stuff that, that I wrote, um, and so I'll just refer to it, I'll read a little bit, and I'll expand upon it, and yeah, I don't know if this will help anybody or not, but if you do get, get something out of it, anything at all, you know, that's that's cool. Um, so anyways, I, I, just, I just go back to my blog, and I choose a post. This particular one is about social media marketing and, and uh, steps that you can take to you know, get better with um, your your Facebook marketing or whatever social media platform that you're on. And yeah, I am looking at this screen, so I'm kind of <laughs> up and down a little bit. But um, anyways, you know, I just talked about a little bit about you know if, if you're using social media for your for for marketing, you know, are you getting results? And uh, it lists four things that a person could do to maybe manage that a little bit or organize that a little bit more so I'm just gonna go down to the four this won't be very long number one is set goals for your business you know I'm not the greatest at this but the thing is that if somebody's new I, I, I do think that they should take the time to organize that and set goals and write goals down and you know map out a plan and figure out um, you know what you want to do you know like I say I've been at this for so long now for so many years I, I have goals but they're implanted in my brain and I have routines that I do daily and that's that's a big thing for me and uh, I have a direction and so I'm kind of I kind of just do all that in my head but it is a good idea for somebody who's a little bit newer to map out your your goals and, and so it just you know just goes on here to talk about that a little bit um, let's see okay it talks about making sure that your goals are realistic ones that's big okay that is big because I, I've seen a lot of times I've seen people set these ridiculously crazy goals and then you know something that they're not going to hit for five years and then you know you just get you just get burned out. I mean, you need to set realistic goals and, and short-term goals, okay, that you can, <laughs> that, that you can, you know, something that's manageable and that's reachable within a short amount of time. And then when you get to that goal, then, then shoot for the next goal that you make. And that way you're progressing, you're moving forward, you feel good about what you're doing. You're not like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm never going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this for five years. And just so you got to keep your goals realistic. And I think that's probably the, the biggest thing about setting goals is to set realistic goals and goals that are short term goals that you can reach and then set a new goal that you can reach. I should have turned that off. But OK, so. And, and, and it can it could be something very simple. Like, you know, my goal this my goal this month is to is to write some blog posts or learn how to set up a, a WordPress blog or you know learn how to do some Facebook marketing or do my first Facebook marketing ad campaign or you know whatever the case may be. You know, learn how to do um, a video or set up a uh, YouTube uh, you, my own YouTube channel. Um, you know, read a book about of a certain part of aspect of marketing that I'm not familiar with you know make these goals realistic and then so that you have something that you can cross off on your list okay um, and then number two learn how you can help your customer not pitch them it's all about the, uh, uh, creating or, or providing content that has value teaching people educating people giving them something that they can use to motivate them or to inspire them or to give them something to follow so that they can get better at what they're doing you know as opposed to pitching your business here's my link join my thing here's my 
here's my page, buy my product. No, okay, um, here's what I did last week that worked for me and maybe it'll work for you too. And you can follow these steps and uh, maybe it will help you and, and, and teach people. Okay, that kind of thing. Okay, determine or learn who your target market is and talk to them. You gotta, you have to, talking to people as opposed to talking at them, um, you know, is so big. Creating dialogue, conversations. Uh, let's see here. Find a solution to a problem that your customers might have. Okay, you know, the thing is, I mean, yeah, if, if, if somebody that you're talking to comes to you with you and they have a problem, then sure. You would want to try to find a solution, but not everybody is out there telling their problems to everybody, okay? So you don't ever, I don't think, you don't ever want to assume that you're going to solve somebody's problem if they haven't told you they have a problem. So, and, and, you, and you, you hear this a lot, okay? Provide problems, I'm sorry, provide solutions to problems, you know, and all the time. Well, not everybody, you know, I mean, obviously everybody has problems, but not everybody is talking about their problems. Not everybody is looking for you to give them a solution to their problem. So, you know, that's kind of, uh, it, it's better to create dialogue and converse with people. And then if you find out that they have a problem and they, if they are looking for a, a solution, and if you happen to have one, then by all means, provide that. But, um, you know, I, and I see people post like that all the time. You know, they, they're assuming that somebody, you know, is, is not doing well or is having a problem getting prospects or, you know, is tired of this and tired of that. And, you know, and assuming that they have a, a problem and, and, and that you're going to solve their problem and you don't even know them. So that's kind of silly. Um, okay, determine your traffic sources. I'm not going to go into that now. There's plenty of traffic uh, on Facebook and, and other social media platforms, and you can create a lot of connections and, and dialogue and conversations with, and, and uh, um, create relationships with people. You know, talk to them, get to know them, and then find out if you have something in common and, you know, ask them what they're doing instead of just blah, 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 this is what I'm doing, and you should join me, and blah, blah, blah. No. It, turns people off you know um, ask them what they're doing okay find out what they're into what's working for them or maybe what's not working okay and then last build your content strategy you know this just learn how learn how to provide you know good content that, that people find worthwhile um, you know that has some 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 structure to it you know maybe learn how to do some videos or you know, and, and, and then and then help another person do that. Or, or actually, if you just lead by example. But, um, okay, I just want to read this for a second. See if I can lift anything out here. Well, yeah, you always want to have a call to action. But that that's mainly it. Find something that you're halfway good at as far as your content delivery. You know, whether it's writing or whether it's doing a video, maybe just writing a good a good post, a good Facebook post, um, and structure it the way that you like, okay, um, and use, or maybe use images, and then just caption those images, um, you know, just whatever it is that you feel comfortable with, and work with that as far as delivering your content, you know, and, and deliver good quality content that um, people will, would find somewhat valuable. And it won't like turn them off and have them running away from you, running down the street. Oh no, here comes so and so with this MLM stamp on their forehead again. I gotta get out of here. I don't want to hear this guy's pitch again. You know, you know that that just it doesn't work. Okay. So, anyways, that's kind of it. I just thought I'd throw a quickie video out there and um, hope hopefully you got maybe something out of it. And um, thanks for listening. Thanks, thanks for watching. And we will see you next time. Okay. Bye.